Since 2013, Washington Performing Arts has furthered its mission by recognizing extraordinary individual achievement, service, and advocacy in the performing arts. Those honored have been extraordinary indeed. Singer Jesse Norman, whose artistic achievement and commitment to arts education span six continents. Pianist Leon Fleischer, whose musical artistry and perseverance have inspired generations of artists around the world. The voracious patron of the performing arts, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passionately advocates for the integration of the arts in American life. Business leader and philanthropist, Jacqueline Badger Mars, who through vibrant civic leadership and example, ensures that all communities may enjoy access to excellence in the arts. And mezzo-soprano Denise Graves, who literally and prominently gives voice to her humanity, her spirituality, and her citizenship through music. To this distinguished company, Washington Performing Arts has now added Lonnie G. Bunch III, historian, curator, administrator, activist, and founding director of the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of African American History and Culture. How did the arts really shape our story? How did it shape the African American experience? And how were the arts really one of the few ways where people could always be free, at least in their mind, if they weren't free in their bodies and their souls. So for me, it was crucially important to craft in this museum strong cultural presence. To me, it's unbelievably humbling. Um, the array of people that have received this recognition are people whose work, whose career I admire. Um, and candidly, it's hard for me to imagine that I'm in the same group. Um, it is humbling because what this means, or at least the way I look at it, is this is less about me and more about the work of a community. A hallmark of Lonnie Bunch's career has been the use of his capacious intellect to bring history to life, combining first-rate scholarship with vivid storytelling. It's a sense of inclusion that was nourished by the performing arts. For me, the performing arts have been one of the sort of bulwarks of my career. It is where I first learned to experience a diversity of human experiences. Um, it's where I found myself uh, transfixed by the performances that I would see. I, I remember like it was yesterday, going to see a performance on Broadway in the mid-70s when they had all these sort of shows on black music in the 20s and 30s. It was Bubbling Brown Sugar or Sophisticated Ladies. And this woman sang a song that I'd never heard until that point called, I've Got It Bad and That Ain't Good. And she sang this song and I am sitting in that audience and I am transformed. I am taken back to the 20s and 30s as a child, as a student wrestling with my own sense of love and the future. That song meant so much to me and I realized right then and there that I needed to sort of go to as many theatrical performances much as I could because that I would learn so much more than I could learn just by sort of reading a book. And so for me, it became part of my education, uh, an inspiration to sort of help me understand the lives people lived to help me understand the role that history played and to help me know that though I would be a historian, that the arts would always be a major part of my life. That sense of story animates every part of the National Museum of African American History and Culture. And the arts are crucial to Lonnie Bunch's approach. We take the fine arts and we say to people, here's how you get a sweep of the amazing artistic creativity of the African-American experience. But more importantly, here's how you look at performance, you look at theater, um, and you see how the African-American desire to define itself, to share its creativity, to share its pain, how that really has shaped American culture writ large. So for me, the opportunity to grapple with culture was really a way for people to recognize that we are all profoundly shaped by the culture this museum explores, regardless of who we are, regardless of where our family's from. And in essence, the desire to understand who we are as a people through cultural expressions is really essential to what this museum is about. It's not at all surprising that Lonnie Bunch has found an organizational friend and a partner 
in Washington Performing Arts. Washington Performing Arts has really been one of the reservoirs I dip into um, to enjoy, understand culture. Part of what really matters to me is that this is an organization that is global, but it's also about Washington, D.C. What's crucial is that we have so many opportunities for people to not understand the importance of music and performance, to not understand how these, how the arts are central to all of our lives, not ancillary. So I think the challenge for all of us is to make sure that we help everyone, politicians, educators, corporate leaders, understand that this is not about entertainment. This is about who we are as a people. This is about expressing our creativity, expressing our humanity, and really expressing our hope. And I think the challenge for us is to make sure that the arts get the kind of support they need and the recognition that the arts are the heartbeat of America. Lonnie G. Bunch III, the 2018 recipient of the Washington Performing Arts Ambassador of the Arts Award.